guys, it's your girl Beauty by Cat 80. Hope everyone's doing well. Coming to you from the city, as you can see the busy streets of New York. Um, I have a very special guest with me. She's pretty dope, pretty awesome, and she makes these fabulous accessories, as you can see. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself right now. You can actually get to know this fellow naturalista who is a great entrepreneur and doing her thing. All right, talk to you soon. Oh, <laughs> it's weird, you're gonna see yourself. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself. What's your name and what do you do? Okay, um, so I'm Tasaya. Um, what I do is I'm a designer. I do accessories and clothing um, and glasses also. Um, what else is to me? here to me? Um, my website is www.purplepillbabies.com. If you want to know where I got the name from, you have to go on the website and read the About Us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pretty much uh, what I do, my whole theme, my whole niche is just pretty much making everything that's not Afrocentric, well, quote unquote Afrocentric and, and black, trying to make it cool. So pretty much just um, really incorporating, um, you know, like our African culture and I'm trying to incorporate pro-black life and the conscious life into fashion. So that's pretty much what I do. So I love your hair. How, when did you go natural? Give us your natural story. Oh what, my goodness, how you... my natural story. I've yeah. been natural for like five, six years now. Wow. I'm really bad with time. I can't remember when anything <laughs> happened. I'm lucky I know my age and that's only because my birthday was yesterday. Oh, well happy but, birthday. Uh, thank you. Um, my natural journey was pretty simple. Like one day I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go natural because I just realized that everything is a hassle. Like mm -hmm. we think that natural hair is a hassle, but I'm like, when you have a perm, that's a hassle. You have to maintain your wrap or your ponytail or whatever it is. Um, when you wear a weave, you have to maintain that. You have to keep getting that done over. So I'm like, if you're gonna struggle with something, struggle with your hair and figure that out. The same way you would figure out a weave, the same way you would figure out a perm. And, um, you know, then the other problem is thinking of variety, like, okay, I'm not going to be able to do so much things with my hair, but that's because we lack culture, we don't, we, we lack knowledge of self, so we don't know that there's actually way more variety in having natural hair than it is to have a perm hair, because what do you do, you wear it in a wrap or you wear it in a ponytail, you're not really doing much, you know, we kid ourselves into thinking it's so, um, like, doing this, like, I did way more with natural hair, um, than I did with having a perm. Except, except in the realm of weaves and wigs because I was a queen of that. So, that's so are you from New York? Are you a native New Yorker? I am. Born okay. and raised Brooklyn girl. Brooklyn. Love Brooklyn. Tell us, um, how has living in New York enhanced what you do creatively? Oh, how has living in New York, I mean, well, I guess I could just speak about Brooklyn because I'm not, you know, really into too many other boroughs. Um, <laughs> just being honest. Yeah, we love um, that. Brooklyn is culture I mean diversity um, anything that you can look for in, in a place Brooklyn has that all over like if you want to go someplace where it's quiet and it's more upscale you can find that in Brooklyn if you want to go in an artsy area you can find that in Brooklyn if you just want to go around a bunch of you know like I mean Africans born on a continent you can find that in Brooklyn if you want to be around you know people that are West Indian or Afro Caribbean by way of Africa you can find that so you get so many different things in Brooklyn it's just like you just see so much that you're in this constant, you know, mode of just like hustling and going and then it just kind of, um, it just kind of lives inside of you, you know. So. Cool. So, we actually met uh, two weeks ago at Fashion Nights Out at Georgia Boutique in New York City in Soho. And I stopped by her table, she hadn't even finished setting up and I was like, I need this in my life right now. I need to know what this is because it was so freaking dope and cute and everything. So I bought these earrings, which are my first, you know, buy, but I will definitely be getting more because I, there's like so much and I'm like, we have to support each other. There's no way about this. Um, and yeah, so I want to know a little bit more about um, how you actually come up with your designs. Um, how I come up with my designs is, um, you know, basically going back to what I said earlier, it, it's just basically inspiration from um, knowledge of self. It's inspiration from um, being an African or a new African, as, as they would call it. Um, it's, it's inspiration from being pro-black, from being conscious. There's so much to that, to that life, you know. Um, you just see so many things about yourself, about your people, and I pull inspiration from that. Um, 
design wise I pretty much look for what I like to wear um, and what I know young people like to wear but I try to put culture in it because it's like we can we can wear glasses but why can't it have African you know fabric on the side and you can still wear with a blazer mm -hmm. and you can still put on your shoes and go to work and still look very classy so we don't equate being um, African with being classy we don't equate being African with being cool or being um what do you call it fashion ass and it's all of those things it's actually so much fashion in African culture. It's like I could pull from that for the rest of my life and never touch another culture. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know. so tell us about what you make. You make glasses. You make earrings. You make different styles. Like you make so, yeah, what so else? Pretty do you much. Make? I yeah. made everything I have on except for it. my shoes and my drawers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what I do is I make glasses. My glasses um, are all inspired from um, comedic things. Basically, in Kemet, there was a lot of gold. There was a lot of um, you know, dressing up a lot of adornments, so a lot of my designs, even the names of my glasses are comedic names. Um, some of my designs are inspired by activists, um, revolutionaries such as Angela Davis, Marcus Garvey, Mal I have Malcolm X earrings, Marcus Garvey glasses. Um, Pretty dope. So, yeah. Very cool. So where can everyone buy your item? Can they only buy it online? Are you sold in a store anywhere? Um, okay, so currently my first store and my only store right now is Georgia's, which is on 89th Houston in Bowery. Um, but you can definitely get my stuff um, on purplepillbabies.com. Which is probably best because if some things run out there, you know, I would hate for you to run to a store. But anything that you want will be on my website. Um, and I tell, I like really encourage people, if you see something now, get it. Because some of these things, like the raw ray glasses, which um, is pretty much like one of the signatures, is going to soon be discontinued. Okay. So it's like a lot of stuff is limited edition, but people don't know that. So I'm like, don't say I'm going to buy something two weeks from now because it may not be here. So purplepillbabies.com is Fabulous. And we love it. Tell us how you got linked up with Georgia, New York. They're phenomenal. They're two amazing women that are doing their thing. And if you don't know, you have to check out. If you're in New York, you come to New York, go to Soho, check out their boutique. It's kind of ridiculous. It's gorgeous. They have a salon. They sell products. They sell yes. everything. They're just super. So how did you get linked up with them? Oh, my God. Weird but really interesting short story. One of my um, sisters, I would call her my, my soul sister, um, she had on the raw ray glasses and she walked in Georgia's and somebody in there was like, I believe it was Jody, which is the owner. She was like, I want those glasses. And she was like, okay, well my friend makes it. I'll give you her contact information. And she was like, no, I want to buy them off of you like now. And then, you know, conversations happen. And she was actually on the phone with me while all of this was happening. And then somebody else wanted to buy another pair of glasses that she had in her bag because she walks around with an extra pair of Purple Pill Baby glasses. It's, it's amazing what she does. Um, this is Omena L, by the way, um, a holistic nutritionist, fabulous lady. She's a model on my website. Um, and then, you know, they spoke and Jody was like, well, you know, let's have her stuff in my store. And that's kind of how it happened. Just someone wearing my stuff, walking around, minding their business and um, and walking into Georgia's. And I, I love Georgia's because it's so much culture in there and it's so classy, you know what I mean? And I love the way that they bridge that gap, you know, and then they have um, a diverse amount of products. Mm -hmm. They have my stuff, they have cosmetics. So like she said, if you are in New York, visit Georgia's. Wow, that is definitely amazing. Um, I think all the entrepreneurs need to go out there and do their thing. Um, it's, you know, we all have to support each other. It's a small community of us. It's the more the better. It's room for everyone. And um, definitely check out the website, purplepillbabies.com. Yes? Yes, all right. okay. Check out Georgia Boutique New York. You can find them, I believe, on Twitter. It's like at Georgia underscore boutique or at Georgia underscore NY, I think. Um, and of course, you can find me at the Naturally to File at blogspot.com. You can find me on Twitter at Cats Reality or at Naturally to Tease. And you will be seeing more of this on my blog. So I will be doing a really good write up in a matter of days. So I just wanted to put this out there so you can put a face to the name and see the dopeness live and in person. So I'm just going to turn this back around so you can get a view of the earrings and the glasses because I'll be getting some real shit. <laughs> I love them. They're pretty dope. They're just like, they're just fabulous. Thank you very much. Now You're welcome. Shy. Don't be shy. All right, we'll say bye. Okay, naturalistas, <laughs> bye. And thank you for viewing. You're welcome. All right, talk to you guys soon.